Good evening. Welcome to the Insurance Day London Market Awards. Notice anything different about this year's awards? We're in a brand new venue here at the Lancaster Hotel and we've also got two brand new award categories that we will be awarding this year. The Lifetime Achievement Award, more of which later, but a brand new interactive award, the Newsmaker of the Year category, in which you, the audience, are the judges. Guests at tonight's dinner will be asked to vote interactively using the latest technology on four shortlisted stories, which one of which will have been judged to have had the most significant impact on the London insurance market this year. Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, thank you very much. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we've got a new category um, this year, Newsmaker of the Year. We've chosen four stories that we think demonstrate the depth and breadth of developments in the London market over the past year, and we'd like you to choose the winner. You'll find voting pads on your table, so when I give the word, remember, when I give the word, please press the button corresponding to the story that you think should be Newsmaker of the Year. I'm going to quickly run through the, uh, the, the contenders, so you've got a, a quick reminder of, of who they are. Story A is Catlin's tie-up with China Re, a partnership which will give one of the most influential players in China a better knowledge of the Lloyds market and offering Lloyds itself a unique foothold in this crucial region. Story B is Project Darwin, the latest in a long line of modernization programs for the London market, and one that many in the market have been speculating about for much of the year. Story C is CNA's acquisition of Hardy, an M&A transaction which, as well as providing the buyer with access to the $35 billion Lloyds market, allows the company it's acquired to bolster its presence in the US in particular. And story D is Aon's decision to transfer its global headquarters to London, a move widely regarded as great news for London, <laughs> reinforcing the pivotal role that London <laughs> and Lloyds hold in the global insurance marketplace. What happened? <laughs> right, everybody ready? Is everybody ready? If you're ready, please cast your votes now. Let's, let's have a look and see who you've chosen as this year's Newsmaker of the Year. Way. Well, con congratulations, uh, congratulations to Aon. I did have a look at the, uh, at the, the voting pattern. It was a pretty comprehensive victory, so well done. Um, we do have uh, uh, Graham Chilton, who's the non-executive chairman of Aon Holdings, here to uh, collect a small prize. <laughs> 